And finally, there will be a homecoming ceremony with a difference tomorrow when a hero from Afghanistan will be awarded the highest military honour. And here he is. Nine-year-old Trio is to be awarded a Dickin medal, the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross for sniffing out IEDs. Let's have a look at now at the weather with Susan Powell. Hello. Oh, my goodness, Sophie, and it's still not a very pretty picture at the moment. Snow topping our forecast yet again. It's the Midlands and Wales that are in line for the worst of it in the next few hours. Metro for severe weather warnings out here. Very poor conditions, especially on the roads. Tending to turn back to rain to the south. But we could see two to five centimetres a couple of inches before we're done across the Midlands and Wales. And then, as you can see, that wintry weather transfers further north during the early hours of Wednesday into northern England, southern Scotland and northern Ireland. No Notice some milder air coming into the south. More on what that does in just a second. Let's tackle that snow first off, though. For northern England, the Met Office have issued early warnings of severe weather, particularly eastern facing slopes. The same for southern Scotland, where the easterly wind is likely to really pile some of the snow up tomorrow. We could see six inches in some areas, but two to five widely across southern Scotland and northern England. The red triangle there also tells you that that's the same story for northern Ireland, particularly the Antrim Hills and the Sperrins. Now, further south we go, and we've still got some showers around, but you'll notice they're blue now, not white and that's that milder air that was coming in that we saw by the end of the night. You'll notice temperatures tomorrow morning, 5, 6 degrees. It will be, I think, still quite chilly because we'll have a notable breeze and there will be some heavy rain pushing into parts of England and Wales as Wednesday pans out. But a different day, I think, to today. We'll lose that threat of snow and it'll be rain that we have to contend with here. But for Northern Ireland, Northern England to a lesser extent, I think, as the day goes on, and Scotland, more snow in the forecast and a continued risk of disruption. Just 3 or 4 degrees here, so still feeling chilly. 10 degrees, though, to the south by tomorrow afternoon. And that split then continues for the rest of the week. For the northern half of the UK, a continued threat of wintry weather. To the south, though, the rain perhaps not too clever. This is the way that looks on Thursday. A lot of rain to come before the week is through across the southern half of the UK, so potentially some problems there as well. But the wintry weather to the north, a big problem now, Sophie. Thank you very much. A reminder of tonight's main news. Politicians have vowed not to...